deload week and you saw I did pretty, I was gonna say pretty much, but I feel like every time I say pretty much, it's, I, I say that throughout this whole video or, or I was gonna say again, pretty much throughout uh, all of uh, my videos and I feel like if you ever hear me um, say that word, make sure you do a squat because by the end of the video, you'll come out like Tom Platt's. <laughs> What's up YouTube perverts? Welcome back to another episode of AM Training. It is week 11 of the GZCL Ribbler program and uh, this episode brought to you by Gatorade Bars and Bench Press PRs. It's a lifestyle. Yeah, the Gatorade Bar, I am loving it. Uh, I am just like buying boxes and boxes and making it rain um, even though I can't afford these boxes. <laughs> but it's, a, it's worth it because, I mean, 20 grams of protein for 340 calories, I mean, that for close to $1.25-ish, um, uh, $1.50 for Amazon, but, you know, the Walmart life uh, definitely pays off, um, even though, you know, you, you see a lot of people in their pajamas, that's okay. <laughs> you see a lot of people in their hair rollers, I think that's what you call them, but that's okay. It's, it's worth the, the, the 25 cents you save per bar. Anyways... <clears throat> Um, a best and underrated protein bar in my opinion. I've never had one better. My client says that there is one better called grenade bars. Never had that. I might try that out, but uh, he said that the macros are good, which in layman's terms, that means it's horrible for me because I want some crazy calories. Anyways, um, <clears throat> this week is my bench press. It's sad because I was really hoping, I was low-key hoping for about six reps or so uh, with, uh, I, I can't remember the weight that I was using, but th uh, 285, 285 is what I was using, and um, you're like, dude, it was 285, and you just saw a couple minutes ago, in my real life time, um, it's actually like, what was it, like three days ago, so, <clears throat> yeah, it was 285, 285, I'm sad because, again, it, I, I was low-key hoping for the higher reps. Last cycle, I got 275 for six reps. Um, this time, it was it was de definitely difficult. Uh, um, so, I mean, I don't know if it was just because I'm getting a little burnt out and I'm ready for deload, which, by the way, the deload is probably going to be um, two weeks because I'm going to let my ankle heal up, do some um, kind of uh, rehab, prehab stuff for everything else besides my ankle because uh, I am getting some elbow pain, I 
I think that's when I dumped the bar um, off of me and that uh, I kind of tweaked a couple things. So that was, again, like I said, the worst bail of my life. I haven't taken two weeks off of a deload or two weeks off and anything like I, I've always kept training even when I herniated my disc uh, I was two weeks bedridden but I still was training um, like doing breathing exercises as I was laying in bed trying to heal up from the herniated disc and I was even still like even afterwards I was still trying to do uh, Bulgarian squats because in my opinion if you guys have back pain Bulgarian squats are the go-to uh, to make sure that uh, you know your back is nice and neutral and you're still getting that uh, uh, training effect anyways um, I keep going off into a tangent, but uh, yeah, uh, well, oh, high bar, high bar, um, it was good. I, I kind of uh, I sandbagged the, the, the AMRAP with the high bar, but I did that on purpose because I didn't want to get too burnt out. Um, I actually talked to my boy Cody Lefevre. So Cody Lefevre, he is the inventor of uh, the Rippler program and, and the whole GZC uh, L method itself. I mean, um, GZCL. The CL stands for Cody Lefevre. I don't. I'm not exactly sure what GZ stands for, uh, but my guess would be Jizz. So I, I feel like it would be Jizz Cody Lefevre. I mean, that's. Well, I mean, why wouldn't you want that to be the name of your? Huh, method and your methodology, right? Um. Anyways, um. We, me, and him, we're we're practically best friends on social media. So I went ahead and hit him up and asked him a question: Why would week eleven, uh, be so extraneous and uh, have an AMRAP, um, right before you max out? Because last cycle I went ham. I mean, I was doing like deadlifts above five hundred for uh, a good, uh, you know, more than ten reps or so, and I definitely felt that uh, and max out. I was a little fit, bit fatigued for a uh, week. 12 and uh, his reasoning was um, you don't go ham on a week 11 you just kind of build up to it uh, make sure that your progress is still going steady um, it's a way for you not to get lazy and uh, kind of detrain so you're continuing to build up and that makes sense um, so I think uh, what I did was I kind of uh, semi sandbagged it. Um, I, I wanted to leave, uh, you know, some reps in the tank. I still, uh, when, once I had like technical failure in the high bar, I went ahead and kind of stopped it. So, um, and, and it's a good idea because again, my ankle and my knee are kind of feeling it from that stupid bail and that stupid new mistake that I did. Anyway, stay tuned because uh, of course I have the rest of the program uh, to do. So stay tuned. <laughs> Alright guys, so that concludes week 11. It is lunchtime at uh, my work and um, I'm wearing this super deep V. Uh, are, you, are you digging that? <clears throat> it's funny because I never was into deep V's or even V-necks themselves, but I got tricked by my wife. Um, I always wear crew neck. I was only crew neck only kind of guy, but she was like, uh, came home one day, she was like, hey, I got you a shirt. And I was like, oh, cool. She's like, let me help you put it on. And she's like, go, go like this. So I went like that. She put it on me and I'm like looking at, <clears throat> looking at my new shirt and I'm like, yeah. She's like, do you like it? I'm like, yeah, I, th I think, I think I like it. She's like, look in the mirror. And I'm like, son of a bitch. <laughs> she gave me, she gave me a V-neck. Um, and then that's when I fell in love with V-necks. Plus it kind of shows your pecs if you had pecs but i guess for me no pecs no checks <clears throat> so um <laughs> i went off in a little tangent there um but uh yeah this is deload week and you saw i did pretty i was gonna say pretty much but i feel like every time i say pretty much it's i, I say that throughout this whole video or or i was gonna say again pretty much throughout uh all of uh, my videos and i feel like if you ever hear me um, say that word make sure you do a squat because by the end of the video you'll come out like Tom Platts and your your quads will be quads of the gods um, 
and I went off on a uh, tangent again, but uh, yeah, I did my deadlifts. I did. Uh, I, I, I didn't do a trap bar deadlift. Uh, I felt like um, I wanted to be a little bit more specific, especially with programming. Um, I changed and tweaked uh, the Rippler program a little bit. I feel like my T1 exercises weren't um, exactly what I was training for. And I, I knew that because my emphasis was to bring up my weak spots and I feel like I did. Um, and with me about to max out next week, I changed the trap bar deadlift uh, into be in, getting a little bit more of a grease, uh, grease, grease the groove kind of thing and uh, make it more specific with uh, kind of openers. Uh, so I did a 90, 90%, 92% of my max. Um, I think I entered 620 as my max, which I should have maybe done 635 if I, um, if I wanted to kind of uh, play around with my max or, or again, uh, but uh, again, this is a stiff bar, not a stiff bar, but not a deadlift bar, so it was gonna make a difference. Um, I decided to pull six, well, I decided to pull 575 twice, uh, because the first time f felt like it flew up and I was like, I was gonna call it a day, but I felt like uh, I definitely need to uh, put in some work so then um, when I do max out next week, I will be a little bit on the super compensation side where um, I recover from today's workout with it being higher intensity, really, really low volume because like I said, I just did do those two singles. Um, so I really wanna uh, make sure that I am ready and stronger than today which everything was moving really well and um and again that was uh, kind of the super compensation as in um i train now i break down and recover and be even stronger so that's one way of uh periodization of course the other way is the two-factor model uh that's where it's uh, fitness versus fatigue but i won't get into that uh but um let's go ahead and just call it a uh video there so train hard train smart i'm sure you are going to look forward uh to me maxing out because i feel like all of my uh, max out videos those tend to get the most views because you guys want to see me struggle and shake and pretty much look like I'm twerking as I'm deadlifting up the bar <laughs> anyways like I said train hard train smart that's that's twice I said that knee my knee actually slammed into the rail of the uh, the the ER rack and man that uh, could have been a whole lot worse and then top of on top of that I, the guy behind me, Jared, he is uh, my, I, he's my client. I'm programming his deadlifts. He is definitely a strong motherfucker, and he would have easily spotted.